Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have finally received my palette. I need a warm palette from Natasha Denona. I'm super excited to try it. And, and what's the difference between this one, the golden palette and I need a nude? I already know I'm going to love the formula, but what I'm curious about is, is this really worth it? Are the shades really different from the other palettes, especially the golden palette. So let's go and swatch them together. I did the swatch off camera to save a little bit of time and this is the result. So I'm gonna go like this so you guys can actually see something. Um, the top one here is the golden palette and the down here is I need a warm palette. As you can see, the shades are extremely similar. Uh, so this is starting from the first row in the palette. So the first five, then the second five, and then the third five, same here. Um, a lot of the shades are very similar. Um, there's not much of a difference other than in the golden palette, you can see all the shimmery and the sparkly shades are very golden because it's the golden palette. Whereas in the warm palettes, more copper and orange or brown. Um, that's mainly the difference. So if you're hesitant between the two of them, um, it really comes down to what's your preference, what you have at home, what's your skin type, what's your skin color. Um, if you want something that has neutral shade and cool tone you would go with the golden palette if you have a neutral to warm tone then you can go for the i need a warm palette in my opinion the two palettes are really really nice they're really high quality the shades are gorgeous um if i look at what i'm seeing on my arm it's really nice but they are very similar is the i need a warm palette too much I think there's there's a demand for it, there's a market for it. Um, but if you already have the golden palette, you can skip it, no problem. It's not going to make a big difference unless you are um, a ride or die kind of person and you need to have the, the um, I need a warm palette. But in my opinion, if you have the golden one, you're not going to miss anything. Um, because they are extremely similar in terms of shade in the palette. Now, the fun part, I'm going to create an easy look to recreate for you at home with I Need a Warm Palette. Um, I'm going to use a few shades, so if you want to follow along, I have uh, applied um, an eyeshadow primer on my eyelid. Uh, I am using the Urban Decay uh, Potion Primer, I believe it's called eyeshadow primer potion that is the only one i'm using and it's literally the best um now i'm going to start with the shade mellow so this peach shade here and i'm going to apply it all over my mobile lid it's kind of skin color with a tone of peach. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm pressing it onto my skin, just like so. So it's just giving a pop of color. You could literally just wear this a little bit darker in the crease, add your mascara, and it would give you just that really nice and healthy look. So it kind of, it's a shade like this. I feel like it really wakes up your eye, your gaze. It's a really nice shade to wear on a day where you feel like you're a little bit tired. It's a really nice shade to apply on. So the base is done. Now I will go with the shade just under, it's called Vim. So I will place this on the outer corner of my eye, much darker shade. I'm 
just gonna come I don't want to go too high I want to stay really just on the outer corner of the eye I'm really just blending it into the other shade and I have the same brush I've cleaned it quickly just like this so same thing onto the other side and I'm not going past the crease so I'm really just staying on the mobile lid and with the same brush I'm going to add a little bit more take a little bit more powder and come underneath my eyelash under my bottom eyelashes just like so. You really don't need much product. So you don't want to have something too dark. You're just adding a shadow. Just like this. So, oops. Again, same thing in here under my bottom eyelashes creating a really nice shadow now I want to go into the crease but with not a shade that is necessarily too dark but just a different tone so I'm gonna go with this shade here called ripe and I've got a small definition crease brush and I'm coming quite high on the crease I'm adding, it's a really nice pop of color. Just like this. And then I'm going to blend it out afterwards. So same thing on this side. Obviously, I need to add a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to use the shade Snug, so this one here. I've got a flat brush, and I'm going to place it completely in the middle, in the in the center of the eye, so right above your pupil. So, like this. Just like this, so it's gonna add that really nice, just a little bit of shimmer in the middle of the eye, just like this. Same thing onto the other side. And as the finishing touch, I'm going to use the shade Elm here with a very small flat brush and I'm going to apply this one in the inner corner of my eye to bring all the luminosity. Just like so. So when you move your head, you really have that reflection just here in the inner corner. I always add a little bit just down here as well. It kind of connects the makeup in the inner corner as well. That's not more complicated than this. It's a really good a nice easy makeup to do it obviously gives a pop of color and my blue eyes are popping out um, now I'm going to add my liquid eyeliner and mascara this is the final eye look I've added falsies and they are my own so I 
have them made and they will be available within i would say the next two weeks for purchase um so i will link down below my amazon link uh whenever they are ready for um up for purchase so i will i have a few different um style of eyelashes i like this one they are the 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 faux minks um they are vegan so they are synthetic eyelashes they are not real animal or human hair um and yeah i just feel like it's really nice when you do like a bit of a a more elaborate makeup it's nice to put a set of falsies uh they're they last really long i add a little bit of glue they're really really easy they're super easy to apply and if you look after them you know remove the excess of mascara uh, you can reuse them up to 25 times so you can wear them up to 25 times i think it's a pretty decent deal so if you guys are interested uh leave a message or in the comments down below and i'll make sure i'll send you the link whenever it's live and ready for purchase um i want to add a little bit of gloss i have a very neutral lip so I'm going to go with the Golden Glimmer Gloss from Natasha Denona. Ah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous gloss. Uh, but because I've got a bit of an OCD, I'm going to apply the gloss on the back of my hand. And I will go with a little lip brush. I've got my lip brush here. And... Because I do not like when you transfer your lipstick in the tube of your clear gloss. I think it just makes a very big mess. That's just me. But I'm sure I'm not the only one. And look uh, how shiny and glossy this is. It's a gloss, but it's very, it feels almost oily at the same time. Like it's really, really not sticky, which I really like. So this is the final look with I Need a Warm Palette from Natasha Denona. I love how it's, the formula is easy to apply. It's great. It's not patchy. I know it's going to last the whole day and the whole night. Um, I love how... The shades are just working seamlessly with each other. It's a really, really nice palette. Obviously, I've added the falsies, so it's giving more of a glam look. You could also wear it without the falsies. Uh, really up to you. I will put down in the description the link of everything that I've been using today, including the falsies. So whenever the offer is up and live on Amazon, so you guys can go and purchase them. I have also a discount for uh, Natasha Denona, it's a 15% off discount. Uh, so there's the link down below if you want to purchase the palette. I think it's a gorgeous palette. It's very, very similar to the Golden palette. Uh, obviously, it's not the same tone, the Golden palette. It's golden shade. This one, I would say, is more orange, brown, copper tone. Um, it depends what you're looking for. They're both really nice. They're the same from Lush, just different shades. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Um, I really like the final look. It's very easy to recreate. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. If you've had, if you've purchased already the palette, I know it's been around for a few weeks now. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think. A big thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you and see you next time.